Hello, good evening, and welcome back to a pixel art speed draw. This time, we're drawing some mangroves for the Pixel Daily's art challenge for April 21st. This one I was kind of excited about, because trees have always been a bit of a weak spot for me. Especially foliage, leaves, bushes, all that sort. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to go in and practice, and do some nature scenes. And the end here, we ended up doing three mangrove trees. The primary focus being this one in the foreground we're drawing first. And I'm quite happy with the way the trunk and root systems turned out on this one. Right now we're just going through, cleaning up some of the lines, adding color, highlights, and lowlights. Getting those shadows just right. Although, that being said, a lot of the roots end up being covered when I add water later on in the scene. But, it's always worth it doing those extra details. Because you never know when they're going to come in handy. Now as we get into the top of the tree here, this is where a lot of my weakness starts to show. The wood aspect turned out nice. As the tree tops here, the leaves I just couldn't get looking quite right. So it's definitely something we're going to have to work on in the future. But overall, I think it turned out alright. What really brings it together is the vines we start adding later on. For those of you who already follow me on Twitter, you probably have already seen this piece posted and in its complete form. And if you don't follow me, you should, because I'm posting pixel art there just about every day. Sometimes following the pixel dailies prompt, and sometimes just drawing whatever I happen to be feeling that day. I really like the effect that these vines had, bringing more attention down towards the roots and the trunk. Distracting a little bit, at least, from the foliage that I had trouble with. And as we finish this one up, we'll start getting into the water and the shading therein. As you see, as we add to the water, we're cutting into it, letting some of those roots we colored show up, so that they're not completely hidden. Now we're going to go in and add those underwater shadows, showing some of the transparency to the water, and allowing the image of the roots to cut through. Now we start settling in onto the other two trees. 
since these ones are further into the background, I stick to using some of the darker tones from the previous tree. Once we get the third one in here, the whole set brings the entire scene together. As we get to the end here, I'd like to thank you all for joining me for this speed draw. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.